welcome back everybody to Foreman Simulator 19 here on Medicine Crew 19. Folks, how y'all doing? I know it's been a while, but we're going to get started. Uh, I bought the cat uh, from FDR Logging. It's a 535D. It's got the winch cable and stuff at the back and it works awesome. I don't remember what buttons. Let's get in here and get this thing fired up. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Can y'all hear that? Let me zoom in a little bit. The motor is pretty quiet. All, all you hear is a uh, stump grind. But look at the tires. One's facing forward, one's facing back. Left side facing forward, right side's facing back. I like that. You got traction. Either way you go. But um, right now we're going just going to be grinding up this tree that I hate. Finally, you see that log pushing up there? Yeah, there's invisible limbs on these. Yeah, it, it is just a nightmare with these trees on this map. Come on. There, did, I, did I get you? I think I got him. It's cool. But anyway, yeah, this is our field 60 up here. I pretty much got all the trees out of the northern part. I guess you can call it the northern part. Uh, we got some logs to sell. And then, if the rain ain't caught us yet, we're going to do some harvesting, folks. Not, not tree harvesting, but I gotta let that down just a little more. But anyway, let me put the stuff back on the screen there so you can see. I've done use a tank of diesel almost doing this up here. And pretty much how I had to do it, folks, is just go ram a couple of trees, sign out of the game, you know, log out and st or whatever, close the game out, come back. And uh, some of them, like this in here, is like it's 30 feet tall. Well, it's like 18 feet, so. I got a few there. Um, I think I'm just going to fly my drone for a second so y'all see. Let me shut this off. And uh, show y'all what all's down here. All right, here we go. All the way over to the bridge here, to the creek. I had to do some uh, train edit right in here. To get a few trees because they really was down in the ground but you see how small these are yeah that's what I'm talking about that's where that one over there was and they'll pop up bigger than these here like twice as tall but uh, I got those two there and then I have one here and one down here and of course one there and then I think I want to take one or two of these out right here so it'll be a straight line through um, but yeah that, that's be the northern and the southern part of field 60 I got a log right there to pick up too uh, this is what I got left and uh, the patch of woods here now it's a patch of woods here and another patch of woods right here. If you go back to my previous videos, you'll see them. But I just in and out of the game and they'll they'll pop up. And then I had a mishap right here. I went to cut these two and and they got lodged into the the barrier of the gang, you know you uh, show you right here. I might be able to cut them from up here, but as far as I can go, see, I'm against the wall, invisible wall that keeps you from falling off the map. But yeah, I got a couple trees here, and then all those, and then when I do get all the trees cut, I'm gonna come in here with a plow, probably just fall, plow it up, and reseed it with grass so we can fertilize it and get more. Now I'm thinking about putting a bell storage up here somewhere. 
I'll probably be in this corner maybe or I might even buy this other piece of land that's right here on this hill and just put a storage right through here and then the rest of this where you can mow but let me uh uh do a jump cut here and we'll uh go sell some logs folks be right back all right we are up here at uh no well we'll sell our logs uh first let me show you we got the the new go or gooseneck from 82 logistics here loaded this log fell off there thank god we was here got our army truck loaded with augs and i also bought a logging trailer and look at that mess folks yeah ain't that something but i also bought a few other things uh as you know we bought combine um i think it's 9610 anyway let me sell these real quick i'm getting ahead of myself Twenty-eight thousand seven hundred and twenty-four dollars with wood. All of it didn't sell. This guy here is not in the zone. I'm on. I'm on. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I saw the trailer move, and I'm like, oh no, we got the trailer. Um. Did everything sell. Let me move this army truck out of the way. But, um, I got some contracts, too. Well, I love when that thing starts. We might get rid of the trailer, but we're going to keep the truck. I just, I love the truck. And it's got a hitch on the back, too, to pull other things, so. Let's go ahead and get him a little bit further. I think he's going to go back to the farm. And well, the pickup truck's going to go back to the farm too because we got to start harvesting. All right, but anyway, uh, we got some contracts that I did. We need to clear out um, because we got a lot of them. Go ahead and sell this uh, log truck here first, or not sell the pull that right in the way of the truck, didn't I? There, get over, get over. There we go. Uh, I'm sorry, it's kind of just, you know, straightforward facts right now, folks, but I got so much to catch up with, y'all. And we're about eight minutes in, so I'm doing pretty good. This old Mac here turned out to be a pretty good truck, folks. Right, I'm going to pull up this a little more, make sure we get all those in the back. We'll shut that off. Go over here and see how much these are gonna be. Thirty-seven thousand six ninety-seven. Whew. And these two up here wouldn't get in trip. I don't know if they usually do that, but that's a weird sound. Like an air gun starting. Alright, now 3,130. Bring this 203, folks. That's good. We're going to need it. Um, I'm going to take care of these a little bit later. I want to... Uh, let's see. Let's hop in the pickup because I think that's going to be... Now, this is uh, the sellage we got so far. All that. This over here should be ready to sell, but I'm not going to sell it. Let's hop this way. Remember our little bitty tiny Arger wagon? Yeah. Yeah, we got it back here. Got a bob truck back here. We, we're going to start harvesting. Uh, I think the moisture is about right. Let's go out here and look. Uh, does it tell me? It's ready to harvest. 100% fertilized. Uh, potential harvest quality is 75,313. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty good. Let's check them. Oh, no, need that. I need this. Let's see if we can check the moisture. 
18 percent 13 I, I think we can go with that folks because uh, if we go in here there's how our cows are doing we got six that are pregnant within a, a little over half a year where it looks so uh, as you can see by was that nine o'clock maybe yeah about nine o'clock it's going to start raining so we need to get as much of this harvest as we can and uh yeah I already got some in here as you can see 662 liters 18.8 uh, bushels just cut out a little spot uh, I thought I did I hope oh there we go okay um, there's no straw here so put it on a header and let that down so yeah we're we're harvesting folks for the what first time yeah well with uh, crops that is uh, well I guess grass is crop too I always think grass is weeds growing up and stuff but you know farmers bell it and stuff and make feed for their uh oh that tree's kind of close kind of close there I'll take some of them out This is probably going to take a while, so I'm going to do a couple uh, in rows or headlands, whatever you want to call them, around this. And um, right up here, you probably look out across there and see my tracks where well, I went and sprayed uh, herbicide with our John Deere tractor with the skinny tires on the back. Well, the front tires are wider. So, yeah, you can see them right there, the tracks going. The front tires are not care tires. They're too wide, so they destroy the crops. But we're going to find a different tractor. I'm going to buy another tractor. Yeah. But anyway, I'll be back when I get the headlands done, folks. All right, bring you back just a little early. You can see the harvester top of her kind of in the middle of the screen there making its way he's on AI worker um, we're gonna auto save here yep all right quick quick explaining right here you can see the purple is our grass fields and that's what we got harvested on the grass um, the purple right here is where I went and sprayed fertilize um, it needed a extra dose to get it to the dark blue but uh yeah um, as you can see right here too uh, the care wheels uh, on that skinny tractor just ain't doing it but anyway this is what I want to bring you in with folks 73,666 oops 366 uh, field 41 Y'all can look at them here real quick. 61,000, you know, 73, 6,000, 3,000, 61,000, 39,000, 14,000, 3,000, 35, 74, and the selling of 158,000, 158,000 folks. And we got a harvesting that we can probably could do. And uh, that's about it. It's all planting. I'm going to go in here and accept all of these. And um, let's see, let's go to our bank real quick so you can see. Uh, balance is 203, no loan. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead, space bar. Come on. Games like. I can accept all this at one time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we got two harvestings now since uh, I done that. Now, harvestings are good, folks. Cause oh, there's a combine. 
um, 35 and 22 because you get to keep a little bit of the crops. Uh, what is it? Wheat? Okay. And wheat. Both wheat. We're going to take his equipment. I'm going to be a little bit less, but look at our money now, folks. 665000 I should have waited about buying the combine. Yeah, yes, we do have another combine sitting at the at the shop. Oh, he's gonna stop. Probably for the best. It's only 56%, but we'll catch him again up there at the top. Or I might, I don't know. Just kind of want to show y'all this. This little guy works perfect for when it's a case international combine. Of course, it don't hold very much, but okay. And of course, we did allow this over here to fertilize. It just needs to be um, cultivated. But I'm gonna plow this up and probably plow this road up and redo it. This guy needs access to his field, so. I'm thinking about just taking a bro down across the tree line there and then straight up. But that's in the future. Be right back, folks. All right, folks, we got the John Deere started. And uh, yeah, that's the why I'm not taking it down the highway. Big, 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 big header. I don't have a grain auger wagon or whatever you want to call it hooked up right now. This guy was in the way. But let's uh, show you what we got over here. And uh, yeah, I want to check out my. Turn these on just for a second. I want to start right here. As you can see, see how tall that tree is compared to the rest of them? That's how you know it's ready to cut. Now I'm going to easily cross the ditch here. And go ahead and gauge our machine. Everything looks like it's running good. I like how they uh, incorporated the, the shaking of the machine. It does do that sometimes. Oh. Now on this, we are going to wind row. Let's see, enable. That should drop it right there. All right, let's try. We are cutting wheat and we are getting dust. All right. And we're dropping this straw. I like how the straw's not all the way down to the ground, too. Which, if we was really doing this realistically, that would be all the way to the ground because we'd be wanting the straw. But that's hard for them in our. Wait, we're only going three mile now. We are kind of going uphill too. I don't know if you know, see. Pretty much uphill. Why are we going faster than three mile now? It's going to take us forever to cut this. Oh, that's a good thumbnail right there. That is a good thumbnail, folks. Let's see. F1. That probably be the one I used to. Maybe. But yeah, almost got all the trees cleared out around the wheat field there. Which I don't know if I'm going to make this field bigger or not, but I think it's about the right size. Just 
kind of one of the trees down because they're missing. But uh, let's see here. I'm going to stop right here for a second. Because I do want to put in the, G, the a, AI worker, not the GI. Alright, I just got through hiring. Calculating everything. Everything is looking good. liking it but so we got um we got Andy and the other field and look like we got Betty and this one uh, might be hard picking a straw up it's alright we got a wind roller we'll probably have to wind roll it What are you doing? Uh, okay, anyway. Anyway. We gotta get a tractor. This is our 8RX, folks. I think I said it right. Yeah, 8RX. The 2020 version. And there's our planner. And you can see it is filthy. That's from all the fields we, uh, the two, two or three fields we planted. So yeah, uh, also bought that there. It's a uh, fertilizer and seed tender. Uh, or you can have it all seeds, or all fertilized. It's it's, it's it's got two different hoppers. Oh wow, that I shut it off for. Alright, uh, let's see. Beacons on. As you can see, our beacons are small, day or bright at nighttime. Our flashers. I like that. That's, that's awesome. We don't need our lights right now, but we gotta get this back to the barn because I'm gonna hook this up to the auger wagon. And in case you wanna know, we are up here at the place I was wanting to buy. I don't know if we'll buy it or not, but. We do have another grain silo here. We have more storage. And uh, it's more grass to mow. So, yeah. But anyway, I'll see you when I get back to the shop. And hopefully the rest of them will be okay till I get there. Yeah. Let me see inside real quick. Oh yeah, I love farming. All right, got it hooked up, We're topping off with fuel. <sighs> Park it right over there. And as you can see in the top left corner up there, it says hired, you know, harvesting canola, 32% full. And then 96.10 at the bottom is a uh, 54% full. And of course, me in the middle transporting. That's our glance mod. So it's working out pretty good. There's different settings and stuff to it, but I kind of like this setting here. Alright, let's go catch our combine. You know, these deers hide pretty good in the trees. I almost didn't see it. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It's probably going to be hard to rake with this uh, wheat stubble still up. Um, our other one. He's done pretty good, or, or she, or whoever. Looks like a she. Yep. It's a she. Yep. 
it's going to take a while with this. But we got to 9 o'clock tonight. Let's go. Uh, oh, Franz is driving now. You know, can't do it. Well, since uh, they're doing their thing, I'm going to get these guys. Um, yeah. We got to go mow field 60 and I collect it. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's see, that has got plenty of fuel. Go ahead and get this one started. Got plenty of fuel. Uh, we gotta change that until we get to the field. Back where it's trailing behind. Needs a bath badly. And uh, we got our submar here. 2020 version. And our, our new mower. I don't think I told y'all about this. This is our new mower. It will wind roll it pretty much ourselves. So that's why we don't need a wind roll here. Um, and this guy is going to let's see. Put him back on regular work. And I think it's under farm. Farm to fill 60. Yep, now we're going to stop at the last trigger. Alright, here we go. The combine should be coming around the trees right there and we'll catch them. Uh, yeah, 63. The John Deere is 73% full, so. And we'll get our truck to follow truck will probably go here at last. I need some hay, but we're going to do that last. Right, drive that course. Oh, the rest of them's going. We've got our semi, or bob trucks back there. Um, so I say, please let me out. Alrighty. Oh, that was perfect timing. I'm wanting to see if it'll make a full round. Pretty much so, probably. It just almost 80%. Come on, let y'all go out. There you go. I like for them to stop because there's a bunch of dips and valleys and stuff and um not close enough oh can you pull up whoa okay you're gonna make me back up okay there we go oh that's a good picture right there too oh yeah Uh, folks, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty much it. We're about 30 minutes in. Next episode, we will be finishing uh, our wheat and um, our canola. But it's going to take a while. I'm going to try to do some of this off screen. And, um, yeah. Um, time y'all see this, it, it's going to be. Uh, probably a week or two since I've recorded it. Um, got some things going on around the house and got some construction to the trailer we're doing to the trailer house. Uh, and uh, you'll probably see a, a, a vlog from me before 
any of this uh, before you see any of this so uh, if you've seen the vlog you know what's going on if you haven't look for the vlog and uh, you'll, you'll pretty much know everything I go in detail in there but yeah see I got one little tree there then I got these two here that's ready to cut and that there is ready but you see how whoa got some lag right there but you see how much taller that tree is compared to the little ones there they're the same tree as this if you're able to chip a little bit off of them they'll pop up like that next time you come into the game or ovens almost 80% I gotta Tell you what, let's dump this in real quick and then uh, we'll go get the oven and then I'll end it. Alright, get the pipe out. I'm just glad we made that much money off that wood. And we still got a lot more we can do too. Is this having the guys to do it? Let's see, I ain't got my. F1 up here, Let's see. There we go. Raise up like that right there with the pipe. Cool. Alright. I'm going to shut this off. Let the combine do what he can do here. And we got to. Uh, oh. There we go. Go catch this combine. All right, well, that was a full load from that. Uh, this pipe here is kind of hard to get in and out. It is hydraulic, but you got to put a boat through it so uh, to hold it in place. But uh, there's just some uh, 5,900, almost 6,000 liters. Wow. Just 170 bushels. That's that's about right. Uh, when I was growing up, heard about when I first got on the farm, the guy I worked for, uh, I drove. What was it? I think it was a. Well, he drove a 4955 John Deere. It's the boss's tractor, you know. Uh, it's four wheel drive. It just had singles on it, and. Uh, or sing I can't even talk. Singles, no duels, no duels, nothing on it. Just four wheel drive, four tires, and uh, it was a uh, pretty much as a chore tractor for like plowing ditches and, and stuff like that, cleaning ditches out and stuff. But anyway, we had a round one of these here. And the auger did not move at all so you had to watch where you took it it wouldn't fold in or not it was just a straight pipe and it would barely barely reach over the truck so I might have given up bob truck that one alright that's going to get quite a bit of canola off of this I hope um but anyway folks uh next episode we'll have uh almost done hopefully and uh we'll go from there so i appreciate y'all coming out and spending your time with me today or night whatever it is you're watching and uh i, I enjoy y'all's comments so make sure you leave a comment hit that like button share me with your friends don't forget to subscribe if you're new it helps folks it helps every little bit and if some of y'all feel generous, I do have a PayPal account down below. Um, now I'm trying to get some joysticks. And I uh, already got a new controller, so if you see that in there, don't worry about that. But uh, I'm trying to get some dual joysticks for the forestry machines and stuff. And I might even start a forestry map if I do get that. So you never know. You never know what happens. But anyway folks. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day.
a blessed day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.